the magnitude of the cloisters on the Platte is breathtaking. For Nebraska, it's going to be like a landmark. Everything we're doing for the cloisters on the Platte is I'm carving three life-size sculptures of the crucifix, Joseph and Mary. Then we're making 82 kneelers, and each kneeler has a different carving on it. A person has their separate chair and their own kneeler. I just think it'll be stunning because you'll be able to look around and just none of the carvings will be the same. You can see a story on each kneeler. That's 82 different carvings. If I did it personally by hand, it'd take me like 10 years. So that takes a lot of computer work, all that's being carved on the CNC, and then we take it and then hand carve it and finish it up. We're totally custom, everything we do. Even if we use the CNC, it's totally custom. We write our own programs and everything to do the carving. It's quartered sapali, and it's a beautiful wood. It's almost like a ribbon striped mahogany. It's stained like a medium brown, so the stripes show up in the wood grain. It's a very hard, heavy wood. It's very beautiful. There, there's nothing like them in the world, uh, especially the carvings to them. But even the style nowadays, you don't see it replicated anymore. And all our joinery is very, very well done, mortised and tenoned, and the structure is to last, you know, lifetimes. It's hard to even fathom it, really. You know, I think when I walk into the chapel and see all our stuff done and it looks great and I'll probably fall, and fall to my knees or something, you know what I mean? It'll be hard to believe. Not just our part, but everybody's part, you know. It's, it'll just be amazing.